Good morning, and welcome to Stone Soup, the world according to sci-fi geeks. Once again, we are in the kitchen. Yes, and, and this time we're actually doing something with cinnamon. cinnamon to show you why we call this Cinnamon Kitchen, because we buy cinnamon in the small size. <laughs> and today <laughs> we're making breakfast. Yes, French toast, our own recipe. Well, her recipe more accurately, but she's going to make it because she's gotten really, really good at it. And I'm going to step over there to make another part of the breakfast that isn't important to this. Well, yes. So, shall I step away? I suppose so. Go to it. Okay. Now, this recipe actually came about, as I am told, because my mother and a friend were talking about their two different recipes and realized, hey, you know what? We could combine this into one uber French toast recipe. So they did, and it works beautifully. We start with eggs, two to three, depending on how much you want to make. As always, crack it into a separate bowl before putting it into the primary container. You might notice our primary container here is actually a pie tin. We've been doing this for years because it's a great vessel for dipping the bread into before you dump it onto the griddle. Mm -hmm. The griddle, which by the way, is heating at about 350 degrees. Well, it is now. Yeah, well, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, we should probably comment on the fact that this is what you call an eyeball recipe. There are no precise measurements. We just start tossing things in and go, yeah, that looks about right. If you watch diners, drive-ins, and dives, a lot of people do this in professional restaurants. So it's okay. Yeah, how bad can it be? <laughs> okay, that is three eggs. Next step, mwahaha, the cinnamon. Now, we go to restaurants, we see their ads for their French toast with a touch of cinnamon, and we snort derisively. This is how we do it. <laughs> That's about oh, two to three tablespoons of cinnamon. Yes, I know, you're all looking at me like, oh my god, what are you doing? That's more like one tablespoon of cinnamon. Oh my god. Ah, she says, must put more cinnamon in. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> and then, this is how we measure vanilla. Mwah. <laughs> That's enough, dear. I know what I'm doing, mother. I'm aware. <laughs> now we pause at this moment to start mixing. You, you, you just beat it like you would it was regular scrambled eggs. Would you, would you like the whisk? I'm good. Okay. <laughs> I do so love the smell of cinnamon. <laughs> yes. And vanilla. We love the smell of cinnamon in the morning. Uh. <laughs> His nibs is here. Mm. He woke up. I'll get the other loaf of bread. Okay. Got that reasonably blended. Okay. I don't know how well you can see this. Excuse Granted, me. it's not the most attractive of colors. I need to get some out of the fridge. Mm. Now, after that, we have about two tablespoons of brown sugar here. This gives it a little extra sweetness. Because, well, cinnamon, especially strong cinnamon, will kick your ass. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and, and we use strong cinnamon. Blend that in. Now, at this point, it's a fairly thick, I think the word would be slurry. Slurry? Yes, that's the word. <laughs> You know, mush in that brown sugar real good. A little too thick, in fact. And here in comes the last ingredient. Here we go. Milk. Wanna. Now, how much milk you put in, again, depends on how much of this you want to make. Because as soon as the milk goes in, the whole thing becomes a whole lot thinner. So, give or take half a and cup to a cup. And it's really hard to get uh, cinnamon to mix in after you've got the milk mm -hmm. in it. Cinnamon floats. I was going to do that, Mother. I know you were, honey, but it's hot. It's ready. I get to do some stuff. I'm the sous chef. Okay. So, sue me. She thinks she's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I try. 
Oh, shoot. Paper towels. Okay, I'm going to clean up the mess there. Getting things back under control. Now. And this is ready anytime yes. you are. Mm -hmm. Now. It's about the right consistency. Why are we going to say? Oh, yeah. That's the stuff. <laughs> now. I wipe my hand off. And I'm going to sniffle. Now, of course, the next step is the bread itself. Now, you can use pretty much any bread with this. It'll be fine. But when you really want to kick it up. Oh, you want to get sued? Oops, sorry. <laughs> but when you want it to be extra rich, Cinnabon yeah. cinnamon bread. Yes, we're a little bit crazy. <laughs> but you're or, or it sideways. Or any other cinnamon bread. This is. Yes. Pull some of those slices out, honey. This is regular, actually kind of smallish bread. Yeah. But, you know, when you're having a particularly rich breakfast, that's not necessarily a bad thing. It'll help you, you know, control how much you actually eat and how many calories you take in. Ooh, calories. Scary. But <laughs> you got to soak it. On each side. On each side. Yes, we're doing the heel, too. We're going to do this entire loaf. Mm -hmm. Go. And I'm back over here. Oops. Dunk each side. Now, if you think you have a little too much on any given slice, you can scrape a little off. I've been now. And bit by bit, yeah, transfer them over to the nice hot griddle. Now, you may run out of the stuff, the slurry, and you'll have to make a little bit more. You know, just add a little more milk, another egg, some more cinnamon or vanilla, and it'll usually be fine. <laughs> once it's, once it's a little slippery. I actually made this recipe once for a high school cooking class. And we were supposed to bring in our own recipes to share with the class and yada yada. And so I made up some measurements about, you know, a tablespoon of this, a tablespoon of that. And I'm in front of the class, you know, telling them this is how you do it. And the teacher looks at my measurements and goes, oh, no, that can't be right. You must mean teaspoon, as if I'm too stupid to know the difference. And I'm like, no. I just kept doing what I was doing. <laughs> After all, you've never cooked with my mom. <laughs> yes, I should have, but it didn't occur to me at the time. Well, it should have. <laughs> You know what? Oh, what? these smell marvelous. Oh, yes. They've barely even begun. Mm -hmm. We can actually get this, probably this entire loaf of bread on here. Quite possibly. My mother is making eggs at the moment, so we have some protein to go with all this sugar. Yeah, that's why Silly. I keep stepping over there. Silly us not wanting to go into sugar comas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Not quite the whole loaf, but close. You know, you know, I'm not sure, but I think this might be the first time we actually used the Cinnabon cinnamon bread. Two, three, mm. four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah. nine. Ten. But as you mentioned, I think the other cinnamon bread we used was like some stuff from Costco. It was. They it was cut. Yes. Oh, it was marvelous. But as she says, that's not breakfast, Mom. That's a dessert. dessert. You know, those, those, those stuffed French toast set, I think it's IHOP. It those is. things are dessert. They're not breakfast. I'm sure they're delicious. They're wonderful. They're not breakfast. Okay, I need to wash my hands. So, excuse me, just a moment. I get to watch the skillet and the griddle. Let's see how we're doing here. Ah, see, this one's already brown. Well, these not so much. Well, some of them. And you cook them until they're brown enough. Oh. And you cook them until they're brown enough to suit you. Mm -hmm. Brown and dry. Brown and dry, yes. Because... You know, they're kind of like brown before you start on account of all that cinnamon. Mm -hmm. Okay, Miss Nance, swap you. Okay. As you can see, it cooks pretty quickly. I mean, not only is this delicious, it's fast, and as you just saw, very easy. A little messy, but easy. <laughs> oh, shoot. We forgot to warm the syrup. Oh, <laughs> that was silly of us. We usually have maple syrup, pure maple syrup. None of that imitation bull. Real thing. This stuff deserves the real thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
And because we keep it in the refrigerator, because it is real, we warm it up a little because, it's, you know, you don't want to pour cold stuff over your beautiful French toast. Mm -hmm. You know, take your nice hot French toast and wham, immediately chill it. That would be silly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Whoa. Alrighty then. Okay, start moving that off. Make space for the last two slices. Hmm. Interesting. You about ready over there? Oh, yes, you are. Mm -hmm. Just got to do those last two slices. I just got to finish doing this so it's Dee -dee dry. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Na, 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 na. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's still mostly stable. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. Okay, now do those last two slices. Now, as we said, the cinnamon floats. Now, then, you have to re-stir the slurry before you dunk again. And in that way, you know if you need more cinnamon. Yes. All righty, then. What in the heck is this? Cinnamon clusters. It's a great big one. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> dum -dia -da -dia -da -dum -dia -da -dum and there we go. Alrighty then. And you know, when I made this for my class, and people were kind of laughing at how, you know, over the top my ingredients were. After it was done and the samples were passed out, nobody was laughing anymore. It was all oohs and ahs and yums. And can I have some more? <laughs> can I have that recipe to take to my mom? Well, I just gave it to you. Didn't you write it down? <laughs> and so, lo and behold, It's almost time for breakfast. Ah. So, well, I guess that about wraps it up because, well, nothing new is going to happen here. But you just try this next time you, you want to have French toast for breakfast. And in, and in the immortal words of Julia Child, bon appetit. I say, you want me to see?